Hello, my name is Kayla Bell and I am going to be doing my informative speech and I will be discussing the trending news, which is the kidnapping in Haiti, which consists of 16 Americans and one Canadian in which they are missionaries. And so I'm gonna be discussing five parts of this entire speech, which is who, what, how, when, and where. For the who part, 17 American and Canadian missionaries kidnapped by gang members in Haiti, in which are located in the north capital of Haiti. The entire information I'm going to be talking about has came from CNN News and New York Times. For the what part, a statement released by the Ohio-based organization on October 17th stated that the group of 16 U.S. citizen and one Canadian citizen includes five men, seven women, and five children. The missionaries were traveling by vehicle Saturday to Tayen, north of the capital of Port-au-Prince, after visiting an orphanage in the Croix du Bouquet area. They were abducted along the route between going to the two places. An investigation is currently ongoing, according to a source in Haiti's security forces who attributed the kidnapping to local gang members. Haitian officials are in touch with the U.S. State Department about the kidnapping. The country's foreign minister, Claude Joseph, told CNN. How did this all happen? Kidnappings have been ongoing in Haiti throughout this entire year. According to CNN, kidnappings have surged in Haiti throughout 2021, with numbers nearly rising 300% since July of 2021. At least 628 kidnappings have taken place since January of 2021, of which 29 are of foreigners, according to data released earlier this year by the Center for Analysis and Research and Human Rights. The Haitian police said that the group behind the abductions was one of the country's most dangerous criminal gangs, known as 400 Mawazo. The gang was blamed for kidnapping five priests and two nuns earlier this year. Violence is also surging across the entire capital itself, Port-au-Prince, whereby some estimates gangs now control nearly half of the entire city. One of the abducted missionaries, an American citizen, posted a call for help in a WhatsApp group as the kidnapping was occurring. So literally right as they were being kidnapped and they were in the vehicle, one of the missionaries got on their cell phone, got on the WhatsApp group and sent a message as a cry out for help. According to the senior U.S. official familiar with the situation, the U.S. does not know the current location of the kidnapped missionaries. The FBI and State Department officials are working around the clock to secure the release of the Americans and the Canadians, an official stated. For the win for all the sources of CNN and the New York Times, the CNN article was last updated at 4.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday, October 17th, 2021. And the New York Times was last updated at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday, October 17th, 2021. Both news articles on the websites are live, so they will be updated as soon as information comes into them. Where for everything, the actual information is occurring, well, the topics are occurring in Haiti, specifically in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. And for the actual sources themselves, CNN resides in Atlanta, Georgia, which is also known as the main headquarters of the cable news network. And then the New York Times resides in Manhattan, New York. Again, all the information 
is coming in live through both sources in which those seem to be the best to get all your information from. And that is the end of my informative speech. And thank you.